Did you know that humanity is living in an entirely new geological epoch, one that is characterized by our impact on planet Earth? The impact of humanity has defined a new geological time called the Anthropocene. We humans have spent our entire existence shaping the planet according to our needs, affecting the Earth's geology and ecosystems, including anthropogenic climate change, without thinking about the consequences. During our time on the planet, we have somehow managed to pollute the air in the upper atmosphere and the bottoms of our oceans with plastic. So, what on Earth would happen if humans went extinct? Before we answer that question, consider subscribing to the channel, as it helps us a lot. Human extinction is inevitable. Many scientists have agreed that human extinction is more of a when instead of an if. It is bound to happen. One of the more prominent theories of human extinction is represented by Australian virologist Frank Fenner. In 2010, he said that humanity will go extinct sometime in the next century, and it will happen because of climate change, environmental destruction, and overpopulation. In this scenario, the Earth will prevail. It's more than capable of surviving without us, and the lack of humanity's impact will help our planet heal faster. The cities will crumble, bridges will fall, and almost all notable landmarks humanity created will fade away. Alan Weissman, the author of the 2007 book The World Without Us, did a pretty good job of summarizing what would happen if humans went extinct. He said, Nature will break down everything eventually, and if it can't break stuff down, it eventually buries it. The Impact of Humanity It won't take long before there's nothing left of us except for tons and tons of plastic, radioactive isotopes, and piles of chicken bones. Why chicken bones, you might ask? Well, to satisfy the global need for chicken, we kill about 60 billion of them every single year, hence the bones. But those will be covered in fauna very fast. One of the best representations of what would happen if humanity just got up and left is the 19-mile exclusion zone that surrounds the Chernobyl power plant in Ukraine. Thanks to the 1986 reactor meltdown, this area was severely contaminated, but now plants and animals are thriving like never before. This exclusion zone is proof that the impact humanity has had on nature outweighs 30 years of chronic radiation exposure. The Power of Nature Nature is more than capable of reclaiming what it once lost. But the climate has a huge role in this as well. For example, the Middle Eastern deserts are home to ruins that have been there for thousands of years. The ruins are still visible due to harsh climate and unfavorable conditions for flora. However, tropical forests are an entirely different story. The Europeans who discovered the Brazilian rainforests in 1542 reported seeing cities, roads, and fields. Unfortunately, they also brought diseases that decimated the indigenous population, leaving the cities empty. In just a few hundred years, those cities are now unrecognizable because they flourished with flora and fauna. The first few decades. Some of the first things that will suffer the consequences of humanity's extinction are plants and animal species with a close bond to humans. This means that pets will quickly become wild and rabid animals, and crops that once fed the world will be overtaken by their wild ancestors. Because there are no pesticides, bugs will reproduce quickly. Since they can survive in pretty much any environment, they will mutate and adapt faster than anything else. Large amounts of bugs will fuel a population increase in all species that consume them, such as arachnids, bats, reptiles, rodents, and birds. Thanks to a boom in those species, the ones that consume them will procreate faster, and the same behavior will be experienced all the way to the top of the food chain. Nevertheless, huge populations will start to dwindle as soon as all food that's left is consumed. This will continue to happen for a century, at least, before everything settles into an entirely new normal. The Survivors Some of the wilder breeds of animals stand a chance of survival, but the more docile ones, such as cows and sheep, will probably die off in enormous numbers. They will become quick pickings for proliferating carnivores, some of which will include our pets, more likely cats because they thrive no matter where they are. Dogs will probably survive in smaller numbers because wolves are going to outcompete them by a significant margin. Now that our planet is full of wild animals, we are left with the question of evolution and whether a more intelligent species will rise to the top again. The most likely candidate for that is the baboon, as it has the second largest brain of all the primates, at least per body weight. They can easily do what humans once did, as they live on forest edges, they can gather food in the savannas, and have the ability and knowledge to stick together against any predators. However, baboons are doing just fine as they are right now, so there is no external motivation that would push them towards evolution. The Aftermath 
Humanity has polluted Earth so much that it will take tens of thousands of years to heal all the greenhouse gases that we pumped into the atmosphere. Not only that, but many scientists believe that we've passed the tipping point and that it's all downhill from here. Nuclear plants are an issue of their own, as there are about 450 nuclear reactors across the planet that will start to melt the moment emergency generators stop supplying them with coolant. And there is no way of knowing how this might affect the Earth's atmosphere and ecosystems. Some of the other sources of pollution include chemical leaks, oil spills, and explosions that would cause fires to burn for decades all over the planet. The Last Traces of Humanity Despite the massive destruction that would take place across the planet, some traces of humankind will remain. If we take Roman concrete that's visible for 2,000 years later as an example, ruins and roads built by modern man will be visible for many thousands of years. Nevertheless, great pieces of art such as Mount Rushmore will be some of the last evidence that humanity once existed. As for the technology humanity will leave behind, our broadcasts will travel through the vast emptiness of space for at least a few million years. The only thing that could outlive the radio waves are the spacecraft we left in space. The Voyager probes that we launched in 1977 are still moving through our solar system at an insane speed of 37.3 thousand miles per hour. As long as the spacecraft doesn't hit anything, which probably won't happen because space is very, very empty, it will remain spiraling until our sun expands enough to consume it. So, what are your thoughts on human extinction? What will be the main cause? Feel free to share your thoughts in the comment section below. And if you enjoyed the video, make sure you drop a like and don't forget to subscribe. It would be greatly appreciated. We'll show you everything worth knowing.